The Olympic Games are usually reserved for athletes at the top of their sport. But what if you tried to do all the events yourself? One British pair is trying to complete and compete in every sport on the Tokyo schedule, from rhythmic gymnastics, I like this, to pole vaulting and even show jumping. So far, they have finished 30 <laughs> events. I know we're laughing before you even see the piece. So they've completed 30 events, and they have more to go with just a week left. As MTS Tayeb shows us, this feat is raising money for a cause very close to their hearts. 49 sports. 96 events. Over 17 days. All by two. Self-proclaimed idiots. Stuart Bates and Charlotte Nichols are attempting the seemingly impossible by competing in their own version of the Tokyo Games, in which they're the only athletes to raise money for a cure to Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS. I lost my brother to this terrible disease 10 years ago when we wanted to do something massive that's never been done before. We came up with this absolutely ridiculous idea uh, of doing every Olympic event in the 17 days of the Tokyo Games. They're calling it the Spenny Olympics in honor of Bates's brother, Spencer, who was an Olympic super fan. The fundraising challenge for their two-person summer games isn't for the faint of heart. Slow down, Billy. This way. And comes with its fair shares of scrapes and bruises. Yeah, we're good. When you fall off a horse like that, it's not a small part of you worry, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, my heart a, stopped. I was like, yeah. that's it, Spenny Olympics done. I think we worry about each other more than yeah, we do absolutely. about ourselves. There was a slight sort of, oh my God, what's happening? Yeah, we, when I saw him get yeah. back up, I was like, okay, here we go again, next event. Yeah, I'm a tough cookie, I bounce. So yeah, no yeah, yeah. This is mentally demanding, physically demanding, yeah. um, and it took a lot of planning as well. <laughs> yeah, all of those things. Um, but the, the reason behind it is the most driving force. <laughs> Bailey, stop running! Bates and Nichols' ambitious endeavor has earned them fans from across England. I think it's great. We couldn't make it to Tokyo, but we were in Abingdon. <laughs> After months of training and advice from dozens of former and current Olympians on everything from cycle racing to windsurfing in the English countryside. The couple say they have the physical endurance needed to complete all the sporting events. But there are other obstacles. What do I do? Yes, I have a massive phobia of fish, as ridiculous as that sounds. And when we were out practicing then, there was a big, horrible dead fish floating on the water just by my board. And it was all a bit traumatic, but look, we got back in and we managed the race. And I'm really glad that we managed to get the event done. I mean, done. you shook that off really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Had to be done. Look, we can't do 95 events and not the windsurfing, can we? So. Yeah. And you won gold. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Going for gold in the dozens of events only comes second to raising money. They've already received more than $40,000 in donations. We'll carry on until there's a cure, until there are treatments. We'll keep doing things. If people want us to do the winter Spenny Olympics or, or anything, we'll, yeah, we'll take things on. A tribute by two amateur athletes with Olympic-sized hearts. For CBS This Morning, in Fjostheim, Oxfordshire. Mm. I love uh, everything about the Spenny everything. Olympics, everything. You can just tell they're a fun couple. I yes. like that they don't take themselves so seriously, clearly, but they're also having a good fun in honor of his brother. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, I love Charlotte's landing on the vault. <laughs> that was my favorite. Couldn't <laughs> make it to Tokyo, moment. but they made it to Abingdon. That's nice it. All job, right. MTS.